my lovelies welcome to my channel i want to wish every single one of you guys happy happy holidays i wish you guys all the very best and um stay positive and optimistic my lovelies all right this reading is going to be for taurus sun moon rising and venus these are the monthly readings we are a little bit behind it's been a crazy year as you guys all know how are you guys doing taurus i hope you guys are doing amazing Let's get into your reading and see what spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. Now your first card here, Taurus. Wow, we starting off the month with the Magician card. Wow. All right. So we have the Magician and the High Priestess. Very, very strong energies around you guys. You have the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So the Magician here with the High Priestess, I feel that there is a lot of aspirations, a lot of goals that you're trying to achieve, that you're trying to go towards. Now, with the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, I feel that there's an inner struggle going on with you. For some of you guys, um, this could be really putting all your effort and energy at work uh, or towards uh, your financial growth or financial sector. But it speaks very highly about being very in balance in your life so what i mean by that is what they're telling me here is you guys are putting all your focus and determination in finances or in growth in going towards aspirations going towards goals um trying to make things happen on the financial sector but you guys are feeling lonely you guys are feeling sad some of you guys even depressed um it's almost like your romantic sector or your private life has taken a back seat uh it's you've put it in the back burner for some of you guys it could have been uh being let down for others of you it could have been just feeling not like you're not fulfilled uh when we're talking about love and romance some of you guys even feeling like you you just have bad luck when it comes to love um and because there because of this lack i i almost feel like this sadness uh, this sadness that is being almost masked, um, it's being masked by, uh, by going towards achieving. So what they're showing me here, it's, it's almost like I'm going to put all my thoughts, all my effort, all my energy towards finding financial stability, towards becoming um, independent towards um, really wanting to succeed in life, but it's almost it, it's coming off as doing it for the wrong reasons. Um, for some of you guys, it could be because you want to prove to a specific individual that you don't need them in your life anymore, that you're better off without them. Um, but in reality, with the Five of Cups and Five of Pentacles, there is sadness here. There is a void that you're trying to, that's exactly what they're telling me. Okay, so there is a void that you're trying to fill. Um, and because you feel like, uh, perhaps for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, it's almost like there is a void of fulfillment when we're talking about love and romance. And you've been trying to mask that, or you've been trying to suppress that sadness, that, that feeling of, unhappiness to a certain degree by keeping yourself extremely busy now what spirit is telling you is there you you don't have to have this inner struggle taurus um if you're feeling lonely for some of you guys this could be because we're around the holidays a lot of people have a tendency of experiencing nostalgia anything like that but what they're saying here is you don't have to suppress the fact that you feel vulnerable right now, Taurus, or you don't have to convince yourself that you have so many things going on, but when the day is done and you're lying in bed, you're thinking of the sadness that you feel or the lack of connection, emotional support. Now, for some of you guys, you could be in a relationship and be feeling this way. It's kind of like that feeling of being in a relationship, but almost feeling like you're alone, like you don't have that emotional support, that emotional connection with your partner, or it could represent, because we do have the female and uh, male energy, this could represent that 
both of you guys are like doing your own thing but in reality there there's a feeling of loneliness within this relationship so again what they're telling you here with the magician and the high priestess is don't suppress the feeling of loneliness or the feeling of sadness um what they're saying here is acknowledge that and and when acknowledging it try to understand where it's coming from if you are in a relationship and you feel like your partner is not supportive or they're not as understanding or even encouraging is this something that you're going to be dealing with for the coming year um because if it's not and if you're at a point where you know two fives uh, there's this inner struggle going on where you're coming uh, from the five of cups emotional to the five of pentacles the material meaning the physical world acknowledging or understanding that there is lack of something in this connection or in this relationship or in your life what is it that you're going to do to change that yes you can go after all your pursuits and uh, you know try to go towards achieving goals but once those goals are achieved or you've accomplished them they're still going to be feeling that feeling of loneliness or that void so again the more we address it the quicker we're able to understand it and know exactly where it's coming from so that you can move forward in a positive way uh deciding what changes need to be made in order to be able to get you um to find the balance within your life, to find the balance of uh, being prosperous as well as being emotionally fulfilled. Now, this is not to be confused for some of you guys, especially um, those of you guys that are in a relationship or currently in a relationship or have been in a unhappy relationship for a while. What they're saying here is not necessarily that you need another person or that you need love for those of you guys that are single what they're saying here is that there's a need of balance here you can be single and be happy um and, and i feel that somewhere along the lines what they're telling you here with the magician and the high priestess you have the power to manifest or bring into your life whatever it is that you're trying to achieve or you're trying to accomplish and if we're talking about goals and aspirations you're definitely going to fulfill those but uh, with the five of cups and five of pentacles, you kind of you kind of have to find yourself again, Taurus. Um, and we're talking about pouring that self love back into yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a specific message that Spirit wants to share with you. Uh, we are using the uh, Rebel deck, which is very much in your face type of energy. Whoa. Okay, so we have here. You need a good fucking cry. This is the exact energy I was feeling, you guys. I feel like this is so exciting, right? The magician and the high priestess. This is like being able to bring into this existence, into this practical world, whatever it is that you're trying to bring towards you, whatever manifestations. Um, but it's about aligning yourself. You cannot be excited going towards goals and smashing those goals all the while feeling lonely or feeling sad or feeling depressed you have to align yourself to that energy so again we have to do something about uh, shaking that energy now you need a good fucking cry at the back it says get the ugly cry on let that shit go your soul will thank you so there is high need for you guys to release whatever suppressed feelings you're having or you've been suppressing for quite a while Again, sometimes it is necessary for us to cry it out, to let that out. Oftentimes, um, you know, sometimes with, with everyday mundane things that, you know, we have to deal with on an everyday basis, it sometimes it becomes so overwhelming and it's not even a feeling of like uh, unhappiness. It's more to do with like just dealing with a lot of emotions that one day out of nowhere, it just comes in a wave and you just have this immense need to cry. And sometimes you, you feel like you can't even express that to a friend or someone or a loved one because they wouldn't understand. And then they would ask you, like, why are you sad? And you really don't know why. It could be suppressed emotions that you've been hiding or you've been suppressing for a very long time. So, again, get your cry on, Taurus, if this is something that is necessary to cleanse your spirit and to cleanse your soul. I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. And um, I wish you guys the very best. For these coming holidays, I love you guys and we'll see each other soon. Bye.